Hey, how's it going? It's Jason here. I thought I'd uh, just show you what it looks like when uh, I look at the big window. Yeah, it uh, it's just like it's just like uh, a mirror. Yeah. So uh, yeah, figure I uh, tell you a little something. It was uh, presented to me what day, two days, three days ago. I don't know. But uh, I thought I'd share this little perspective with you because it was presented to me, asked me a little question. And I thought, you know what? This is one of those perfect things that uh, maybe people should hear. And I'd love to hear how you would respond. How far would you go for love? That, uh... That's an age-old question. How far? What would you do for love? Would you kill somebody? Would you... What would you do? But I see so many different things about what you would do. And then, uh... You know, all through history, there have been a whole bunch of things that people would do. Torture chambers, bury people in sand, let the ants eat them. A whole bunch of different stuff. And then back in, uh, I looked it up, the Eighth Amendment, to find out about what exactly is a fair punishment. Why they invented the Eighth Amendment. What is a fair punishment for different deeds? You know, um, what would you say be a fair punishment for stealing a chocolate bar? And then it gets so much worse. Now you think about it, uh, the loss of life. You'll never see that person ever, ever again. That seems pretty much the very worst thing that could ever happen. Murder. And then you think, what about uh, life? Taking away life is probably the worst thing. Anything else, um, I read on social media, you can uh, recover. You can be strong. It will, it will strengthen you, make you strong. So, with that said, I got to wonder... Uh, this is why I'm asking. Um, what uh, would you do for love? Would you... Uh, okay, let me uh, present the question that was asked. Um, a lady said, uh, Hey, her husband is messing around. Um, wants to stay with him so that uh, she can find evidence and put him away or get a fair deal in court and have him support her and all this stuff and all this other stuff. You know how it goes. We all got neighbors. We all got family. We all got friends. I think everybody has gone through this at least once in their life. Even if they even if they are childhood sweethearts, at some point, you or your partner will uh, uh, fool around because of temptation, because of whatever the reason. Um, so, uh, pardon the look, I was putting in a workout, and then uh, my video finally uploaded after like two, three hours or something like that. I was killing time. So anyway, um, try to look uh, respectable. <laughs> okay, anyway, listen, this is taking forever. Sorry, 4.45. Um, listen, um, for your partner, man, woman, doesn't matter. What would you do for love? This is a question. Would you accept what's going on or would you leave the person? 
I myself would say first, if you're in a relationship, uh, you know what? Do everything for that partner. Two, if you want a long-term relationship, do everything and keep the love alive. That's number one. Number two is, if you're in a long-term relationship, uh, my thought, and I've got no experience on how to keep relationships together, because I'm single, and I've pretty much been single since I've uh, left my wife, or we mutually parted. Um, so I'm not really very good at uh, telling anybody anything about relationships. But with my learning, I've come to some conclusions. I'm asking you to answer. Leave a comment, private message me, direct message me, whatever the case may be. I don't care. Call me if you have to. But what would you do for love? Would you... Rather, A, be honest and say, hey, my needs are not being fulfilled. I need to go elsewhere to get them met. Or would you be, because I would say, honesty is the best thing. Be honest, say, this is what I need, and see how the conversation goes. Honesty is always the best bet. I've learned this way too hard. Um... Don't want to see nobody go through it. Two, would you uh, let your partner go and do what they got to do to get their needs met? Um, three, would you say, hey, and you know, I know this is a fact. A lot of people have taken up swinging. It's a big thing. Why? Because one, their partner is their best friend, a lifetime friend. And everybody knows at some time your friend and you yourself are going to be unfaithful. Why hide it? Be honest about it. Say, hey, you want to be with other people? You know what? I do too. Let's make an arrangement. I want you to live the very best life you can live. If you're willing to accept me with you while you and be a part of your fancy, I am so in. I am grateful and honored and privileged that you want me to be a part of your fancy. Since you got me for life, you know what? To be a part of your fancy too and make it happen. Hey, right on. I've even offered this to a few women. I said, hey, you know what? I love you so much. Never want to lose you. You need to be with other people. I will be part of that fantasy. Um, now, with this said, if uh, you got to be with another person on a daily basis, you got to have those fantasies come every day or whatever, Depending upon your partner, you know what? If it's a daily thing, everything, and my thought is you shouldn't be with that person. And you should be straight up and honest and say, hey, want to be with other people every day, blah, 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 not me, my uh, needs. You know what? You got to go. Ditch you. Bye. Thank you for your time. And, uh, hey, Good luck on your next relationship. That's what I think you should say if you're with somebody who does not meet your needs. Um, with that said, you can still be friends. Everything's okay. It's just a sex thing. And I've heard on radio, sex for a, over 50% of people Sex is the number one thing in a relationship. Hey, if it wasn't, you know what? That's what family and, and friends are for. You know what? They're to cover those non-sexual needs. I was a dumbass. 
never again do that. But anyway, hey, that's just me. I've learned. Now, I this was a real thought. So you know what? I'm sharing my thought. My also, my other thought was, hey, there are people who are sex addicts. There are people who are slaves. There are people um, living all sorts of different lifestyles. You know what? It's not to be judgmental. It's to be understanding. Why have hate? Why? Hey, so many bad things in this life. If you can't help them, understand, have empathy, and, uh, hey, help if you can, or just step aside and let them walk on by. Have no hate. That's part of the... And communicate. That's another thing in this life. You gotta communicate. You gotta have empathy. You gotta have compassion. If somebody is being forced... You know what? It's our obligation as human beings to stop the force. If it's a choice, then you accept it and say, hey, okay, you choose that. Um, I've heard uh, there are people, even families, that are turned into sex slaves. Is it a true thing? I got no idea. Um... I wasn't raised that way, so I got no idea. I read uh, The Biggest Secret by David Icke. David Icke says, this is a true thing. I never thought of it. I never knew about it until I read that a few years ago. Um, was it true? Well, you can't believe everything you read. But hey, you keep this stuff in the back of your mind. You think, any if, if, if it can be thought of, it is possible. So then, uh, I leave it up to you guys. Um, it's all a matter of choice. I myself, I would be willing to help my partner out if she needed it to make a fancier more come true. Um, depending upon the fantasy, you know, there are things that I won't do, but you know what? I'll go pretty far to make sure she knows I love her fully. Um, pretty damn far. I, I do a lot for love. Um, but everybody has morals, values, everything. You know what? We're not here to judge other people. Or anything we are here if we got that partner for life depending upon the relationship if it's a sexual relationship then hey you gotta make the call are you do you want that person to go and have that uh, fancy without you do you even want to know about it? or would you rather stay apathetic and just pretend it doesn't happen um, or would you say, hey, this is what's happening. Um, I just, you know, uh, ha ha talk. Really just talk. Communicate. That's the thing that keeps people together. Trust, communication, and uh, compassion, and empathy. We all go through this. This could be one of the things, quote unquote, um, that mind fuck people you know what like i said before this world seems like it takes people that are in love and rips that love away so you cannot love nobody people who swing well you know what they may not be gay or they may be gay really it doesn't matter it's only up to them and their partner um but what does matter is uh you making sure you do not get fooled. You say, hey, these are my boundaries and this is what I'll do. You want to invite me and if I'm down with it, then yeah, we'll make it happen. This is what I do for you because I love you. 
But on the same note, if you're not down with it, do not do it. Because if it, if it becomes a, a something that's a need on a daily basis to be like with more than one person on a daily basis or whatever it might be, you have to talk to your partner about what you're willing to do and what they're willing to do. How much do they want? Do they want daily, weekly, monthly? Try it once, try it 5,000 times. This is your best friend. What are you willing to do? So with that said, you got you to gotta think, what are your boundaries? This could be heaven, this could be hell. Hey, let's say that there's no heaven, no hell. And that the people in your life were all being watched. So let's say there's people that have that water in the penile gland. Um, so they got a whole bunch of water together from dead people. And they saved this. And they can see what you think. And see the words that you're thinking. So with this knowledge, they already know what you're thinking and doing. So they can place those people into your life and say, hey, there. We'll see if we can tempt you. Alright? So, with this knowledge, these human beings are granted this uh, technology so that you can, so they can monitor and watch the show. The one in your head and then the one that you lead and uh, walk through in this life. Hey, everybody wants to know what are you going to do for love. Me, I'm willing to go a long way for love. <laughs> I, I, I do a lot for love. Um, I don't do everything for love though. And that's just the truth. I am willing to fight for love. I am not willing to walk into... Um, I am not suicidal. Let's put it this way. Although some may think I am, but no, I, I like life. You know what? I would not be a dumbass by choice. But I knew I'd be living this kind of life. I'll tell you now, I would have chose not to be a dumbass. That's a guarantee. I, I promise you. I uh, There's some stuff I do over and over because... I'm a dumbass. Either I haven't learned my lesson or I'm doing something because I love somebody and I need to help them. I've learned. I'm still learning. I'll learn for the rest of my life why I'm changing because I have to learn this stuff. And in learning, I have to share what I learn. So with this said, I'm telling you now, I'd like to hear what would you do? Would you... Obviously, you like life. You're not going to be suicidal and walk into a suicidal thing. But, what would you do? Would you just walk away from a relationship? Or would you uh, make it happen? Or would you just pretend it don't happen? Hey. Okay. Have an awesome night. Thanks for watching, guys.